Hey everyone, my name is Caleb, AKA Spider-Man in real life. And I love to cosplay, draw, play video games, and hang out with my friends. What first got me into cosplay was just my love for the comic book characters. So that initially would come from my love from the Batman the Animated Series as a young kid. I remember just non-stop drawing that Batman with the chisel chin, you know, our Batman, Kevin Conroy. And then that grew into my love for comic books. And then once I started reading comic books, I started to draw a lot more. And I would come up with these uh, concept designs for different characters like Batman, Robin, and, and that grew from uh, drawing to bringing that into the real world. And now back then, that was 2012, and there was really no suits on the market. So it's really cool to see how it's evolved in a 10-year period. The reason that I chose Spider-Man in real life for myself was it, it, it just kind of happened, you know? I really got back into cosplay in 2019, and I wanted to bring something new. I never cosplayed Spider-Man. All I'd done was this Robin suit for my OG. I still know that Robin suit. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and I wanted to bring Spider-Man to life. I always thought that I emulated that character and I had that Peter Parker vibes. I love to get in, in character. I love to do the flips. For example, a funny story is I was walking out of a birthday party because I, I used to do events uh, as heroes and stuff. And this little kid goes, that's not really, really Spider-Man. I drop my stuff, boom, hit a backflip into the pose. I'm like, oh yeah, that's not really Spider-Man. The kid literally goes hide behind his parents, but that, that is, of course they weren't scared, but they're they're mind blowing and be able to give them that opportunity is just so special to me. So that's why I love doing Spider-Man and that's why I always will be Spider-Man in real life. The first time I cosplayed, I was so nervous. And the reason being was I was in Arizona. I was a scrawny little twig and I was with my girlfriend at the time and we found her a Halloween Robin costume and she was like really embarrassed. She's like, okay, we got to the event. She's like, I, I, I can't do this. I'm not going to do this. And so I'm starting to like question myself too. You know, I'm like, oh my gosh, should I do this? I'm not seeing anyone dressing up for like walking into the event. Uh, oh my gosh, what do I do? I am the man without fear. I wear my suit. I have an incredible experience, even with it being such a small Comic Con. I don't even think it was like Phoenix Fan Fusion, which is um, a big Arizona event. It was a smaller one and, and it was just such a fun experience. There, I met a bunch of cosplayers there. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to continue cosplaying just uh, due to me joining the Navy. And um, you know, I had other ambitions and other stuff going on at the time. So it really just kind of took a break on that kind of nerdy aspect of my life. Um, but we picked it back up when I moved back to San Diego. So yeah, I learned how to make some of my cosplay pieces by watching YouTube videos. And one YouTuber I really like to shout out here would be Cosplay Chris. One video I watched that really clicked for me was whenever he was doing his Battinson suit. And I just was like, wow, I, I, I can do this. I'd been paying people outsourcing a lot of like resources to have people do my stuff for me. And watching him do stuff really gave me the courage to like do it because it's, it's scary. You know, you spend all this money on a prop and the last thing you want to do is get glue somewhere or get glue on the front of it and it happens it's happened to me more times than i would like to admit there i've ripped things or i've messed things up but as i've advanced and i've uh been working on a lot of my props for over a year now i've found new and innovative ways to make it work to make it happen and uh it's just trial and error so one thing i would want to say to any artist out there whether you're a dancer photographer whatever your art is is to keep on doing doing it, to not get discouraged, to not make it a job, but to just make it a passion. Well, if you're here, thank you for tuning in today, uh, for hearing a little bit about my life, what I do, and my passion for cosplay. Uh, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you ever see me at a con or in person, would love to chat with you, take a picture, hang out. Uh, and I hope that this gave you a better understanding of who I am, what I stand for, and why I love cosplay. Spider-Man, real life is out. I'll see you next time.